Folks, welcome into that betting show for April 4th, 2019. Your one stop shop for all your sports betting needs. He's Teddy Sabransky. Give him a follow on Twitter at Teddy underscore covers. I'm Donnie Seymour at Right Side VP. Welcome into today, Teddy, the NIT final in the garden. The NBA teams looking like they can't wait to cross the finish line and get to the playoffs or take their golf bags out and go golfing. Let's go to hot topics of the day right now. Even Coach Pop, Teddy, he's done with it. He lasts just over one minute for getting tossed. In actually 63 seconds exactly into the Nuggets and Spurs games. Nuggets now move to within one and a half games back of the top seeded Warriors. And the Spurs currently set a half point, or excuse me, a half game back of the number seven seed Oklahoma City Thunder. Teddy, I watched last night with my Philadelphia 76ers. They didn't give a damn about the Atlanta Hawks mm. game. And now they got nope. another game tonight. The NBA, too long or what, Teddy? Well, I mean, the last week of the regular season in the, in the NFL is no good. You know, week 17, there's a lot of. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no. The last week of the MLB campaign, difficult to find wagers. The last week of the NHL campaign, you know, I've heard nothing but the hockey people saying, oh man, it's tough right now. You just get, uh, you know, who's going to show, who's going to play, who isn't. NBA is no different in that regard. But uh, the, the, the funny exchange came after the contest because Popovich, what, 63 seconds in, he got, he got tossed. And then he, he broke into Mike Malone's news conference. <laughs> Malone, we were just talking about an NBA record that was set tonight, Popovich. What was the record? What happened? Malone, somebody got thrown out in 63 seconds. Popovich, are you serious? That person must have hit somebody. Somebody get hit tonight? Somebody get cursed at or anything? <laughs> Obviously, Popovich didn't think he should have gotten tossed. The Spurs played like their coach was in there. No show from the get-go from San Antonio last night in a blowout win for Denver. Yeah, we're going to talk about a little bit of NBA action a little bit later in the show, dealing with my 76ers and an interesting predicament of the opening line and what it looks like now. An indication, maybe. One team not really caring too much, Teddy. But hey, before these indications in the NBA happen, a lot of people, Teddy, said, you know what? Boy, I made a bad investment, you know, in the, in the Alliance of American Football. I took a couple of future wagers out. They didn't win. The league didn't even finish itself. Hold those tickets in New Jersey, Teddy, with FanDuel. Looks like we're paying out those wagers. FanDuel also going to recognize the Apollos, Teddy, as champions and pay them out and also pay out every single future wager. My question to you, Teddy, is, is it more surprising that they're going to pay out these future wagers for every team or more surprising that there's actually $10,000 bet on any one of these teams winning the damn league? No, no, that's all the teams winning the damn league. <laughs> so let's, uh, let, let, let's give the quote first. Because the FanDuel Sportsbook loves football, and we believe this is the very definition of a bad beat for sports fans everywhere, we are also going to pay out straight future wagers for all AAF teams as winners. Hey, great PR move. You get an ESPN headline off of that. You know how much it costs you? Less than 10 grand. You can't buy that advertising space. Nobody bet these futures. There wasn't a ton of futures bet. It's a great marketing gig for FanDuel. Pay out 10 grand and get 100 grand worth of publicity. Make that deal any day of the week if you're a sports book. Good move for everybody. Cheers for FanDuel. Teddy, odds on the Super Bowl that one of these sports books is going to say, hey, you know what? The Rams didn't play all that well. We're going to refund every single bet and actually cash you out as a winner on those Los Angeles Rams. Any shot that happening in the future, Teddy? I'll take the under on that happening in the NFL. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> no, it's always interesting. Really? We, well, we maybe the, laugh with the over on when it happens in the NFL might be the better uh, the better way to put it. No, it's not happening in the NFL <laughs> or Major League yeah, Baseball. Hey, we had, yeah, we had NBA. to give back $6.8 million in wages, but hey, it's all for the good of graces. No, you're right. The 10000 they did pay it off cheap, and also you did see that on uh, ESPN. There's some interesting stuff going on. Major League Baseball last night, Teddy, if you were up around on the late night, which I know Teddy was there on the West Coast, but on the East Coast, I was tucked comfortably in the bed and sleeping, but some teams made some comebacks. Teddy Red Sox scored six unearned, excuse me, six unanswered runs to upend the Oakland Athletics. And if you're watching the Dodgers as well, closing at minus 190, leading a late, late surge, not only winning the money line, Teddy, but also cashing the run line late as well. Yeah, and we talked about Dodgers Giants yesterday and how the early money came in on San Fran. No, no, no. L.A. shouldn't be laying this type of price, and they probably shouldn't have, but the Giants stink, and the Giants bullpen got hammered last night. Uh, and lo and behold, the markets, the early money, got that one wrong with the money on the dog, even though it was, in theory, right, because San Fran was in the game. As for the Red Sox, I, I mean, the Red Sox weren't going to play 200-level baseball forever. Uh, the bullpen's been there. You know, the lineup wasn't hitting. Well, they finally got off the schneid last night against Oakland. I wouldn't be surprised if they make it two in a row with an early start game against the A's today.